So if you were thinking to get 100 bucks out of this, I'm sorry. Yeah. And if you get original ones, they can go from pretty penny, you know? So okay. Today's giveaway, Michael Jordan. Hey guys, Pete over here. So before we get into today's video, I want to show off a cool collection of airsoft guns that I bought. Um, we don't deal with real firearms, but BBs, you know, and airsoft comes in here quite often. A couple use Tokyo, Tokyo Maru. I think that's how you say the the name of these. So these are used, but then, then. I have a couple guns here. They're pretty impressive. KW, KWA. This is a TK45. Beautiful, beautiful weapon. And it was never, never used actually. Uh, this gentleman bought these and planned to have fun with them and actually never went out to the field and used them. Come with the four magazines, a um, couple sets of batteries beautiful piece and then this one right here this is kind of unknown brand for me this one is called avalon kind of have this greenish tint to it and he kind of made it look like a zombie gun with this magazine and this zombie decal on it put a couple extras both of these are in the 400 dollar range so any of you guys if you are interested send me an email and we can wheel and deal on these two, but they're beautiful guns. size too it's large or extra large large yeah they i seen one uh, line for like 200. It's, it's got an official nba sticker on it it is doubled stitched so i this is a one that it's made a little bit later i think uh but still official nba but well, yeah i looked at the same one online it was like two hundred dollars you know. okay and what are you trying to get out of it? Well, at least, oh, maybe a hundred, hundred twenty-five. Hundred and hundred and twenty-five. So it is a starter shirt, so that's good. So it's oh, not yeah. some... That's what I got this, you know, my, yeah. my bull jacket. I always buy starter. Honey, you make a decision. Should we buy this? Com comfortable shirt to sit on? <laughs> So look, I'm looking at stuff here that it's sold. Let me come over here for a second so you can look at this. Okay, so this is a vintage, this is a brand new, still sealed in a baggie. Here, let me bring this picture up. Same tag, except it's an extra large, okay? Made in USA starter. Yours is made in Mexico, so this is a little bit later on. Um, this is the three-peat still sealed. It's the same shirt that you got, yeah. okay? This one sold on auction, 17 bits for $57. So what people are asking, it's nice and cool. They could be asking a couple hundred bucks, but what I look at, it's what they're getting. So here's 157. Here's one for 84 from 1998. This is a black t-shirt instead of white. Yeah. Here's another one like yours, not new, pre-owned, $49. So I just want you to be aware what they're actually Okay. bringing okay. because if I go and un I'll unmark this and see what's available on today's market like on eBay yes look yeah. crazy numbers hundred dollars three hundred dollars yeah. you know yeah. that's what people are asking that doesn't uh, mean they're getting yeah, them. yeah okay so for for the most part all of these that we saw that actually sold and I'm gonna switch that again sold items and anything in green showed me sold. So 57, 84, 49, 25, 29, 32, 42, 26. The range, depending on the condition, and this one is very clean. 
Yeah, I'll okay. give you that. It's very it's clean, never, nice. Never been worn. It never. still has the sticker, so I'm assuming never been worn, but no. doesn't have tags anymore. No. So this is a shirt that I'm thinking I'll probably get maybe 50 bucks out of it on a higher end, just like these are selling. I can offer you like 25 bucks. That's all I could do, my friend. Mm. So if you were thinking to get 100 bucks out of this, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, you okay. know? Okay, well, I'll just hold on to it then. You know, for that kind of money, maybe yeah. just hold on and just yeah. wear it and, and, enjoy, yeah. and enjoy it, you know? Yeah, okay. Okay, thanks. There you I, go. I could probably come in and see, you know? So, yeah. yeah so. Okay. Oh, okay, thanks a lot. You're welcome, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Telescopes don't sell the best for me. <laughs> and the reason for it is people are very skeptical when they're used. You know, they yeah. when it comes to telescope, they want the new new stuff that it's not played with, not you know, so it's it's a hard sell for me. Now okay. this being a little bit older too, oh, it's probably old. from like early nineties, mid nineties, something like that. It's just a little bit too old. I'm yeah. gonna pass on that, okay? Well, you know what? You want it, you can keep it. <laughs> what am I gonna do with it? Throw in the fucking garbage. <laughs> Funny guy. Well, I'll throw it in the garbage. Uh, I don't give a shit. Because it ain't gonna do me any good. Yeah. I just wanna I mean, get it out of my hands. That's if all. if you want, I mean I'll look at it and I have a donation pile, I just might that's donate, fine. you know. You know. So because like I that's said, fine. we it's just don't got do everything it. there. Just some curiosity. Tape everything up for you. Yeah, it's an oldie for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Took it to the back. Let her out. She's flying. So I got some numbers for you here. Okay. So I am interested in the vintage sweatshirt, right? The Chicago Bears because it's 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 local, right? It's, and it will sell here. Not huge money, but it will sell. And the Black Hawks logo, always famous. People like that. Now the Bushnell, I think I'm gonna pass. I. I got quite a few at the moment, these vintage older binoculars. It's okay. And this one is only bringing like 10 to $15 online. Okay. So for a second I thought maybe I can move it online too. It's just not worth it, you yeah. know, that much. This, on the other hand, I can't find a whole lot about it. Um, so but there's one here is that is somebody selling an offer up asking $150. That's your model, the 358? Yeah. Uh, and it's got some kind of attachment here. That's that's theirs. They put that on. Yeah. So it, I guess it can go here at the end, right? Or at the end of the motor. Yeah. What, side. See, because this uh, this fits a cup. What they did was they screwed on. Screwed on so they one can of those, uh, use it as a real. Yeah. Wood yeah, light, but that doesn't know? that doesn't come with that. That's what do you what do you think you want to get out of this? Any idea? I, I paid twenty five for this and this. Okay, so, so you would like to get your money back? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, what about these? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what. This is something I'm not gonna get whole like big bucks. Yeah. But I'll give you twenty bucks for both of them, like ten bucks a piece. Okay. Okay. And then how much? So, and then and twenty five for this, so forty five bucks. Okay, how about 50? Because okay. you got five, these you can sell them for five bucks a piece. They got them. Oh, in. these little inserts? Yeah, they got them. Those are regular, like the pen. Oh, yeah, they are. And they're original from Jet, too. Yeah. Okay. And if you uh, go to Rackler, you know, Rackler, the uh -huh. place, uh -huh. they've got oh, okay. all that. They got yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, no problem. I'll do, I'll do 50 yeah. bucks. Right. I do need your ID, I'll write you up. Yeah, to be honest with you, I never had a little tiny wood lay like that before here. Uh, I, had I had little metal ones for the working on metal, but they're, they're significantly bigger than this, you know? Yeah, they, so. they don't sell this really anymore. Now they made it larger. Okay. The smallest one you could buy is about this big now. Gotcha. You ever been to my shop before? Yeah. 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 I brought you a, uh, a Bulls jacket from the 90s. I remember Saturn now. One, blue, blacks, so. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you see that bull's jacket that I got there in the case? No. It's pretty expensive. Yeah, uh, it's uh, by the guy who's a designer. Her name is Hamilton. Blah blah blah. Yeah. He only made so many. You know. I get. Uh, I don't know. I got rid of most of my stuff. I still got the year that they won the championship. Okay. The first game of the next year, they gave out rings. They gave out uh, 500 rings. Okay. So I got one of them, and I got a banner yet from the 
the, the miniature, the one that hangs in the stadium. So about like that, hmm. the miniature one for that. I one. can't say that I ever seen those rings in real life. No, I know they, they gave them out, but they only passed them to uh, like the ticket holders ticket, or like season holders, right? Season, you got a, a season holder. They would give you at the beginning of the year. They would give you your like if they gave out mugs or whatever, you would get a gift with. The, oh, okay. But they they gave out five hundred rings. So do you still have the season tickets? No. No. Way no. back, when uh, held a couple behind us divorced, and the tickets were in the divorce settlement. You know that's they were golden. And that's how crazy it was yeah. back in the day, especially you know. And there were there were three of us in on four seats. We split it. Uh huh. Uh huh. In. Uh, but you could only put one name down. So the guy that was with us, uh, it was Harbor Distributors, right? So uh -huh. we used to meet at the beginning of the year and we'd pull the tickets we wanted from the whole season. And uh, he kept delaying and there was an ex, uh, ex preseason game and he kept delaying, doing it over, and then he finally said he said he sold the tickets. Oh, you kidding me? I just without consulting with you guys? Yeah, he ended, you know, I was new to the guy, but uh, you, did you ever hear of Cozy Cyclery? Sounds familiar, Cozy yeah, Cyclery. He's got like five, six stores. Yeah, it uh, sounds familiar, yeah. So that guy was a distributor to him for like 20-something years, 25 years. It ended the friendship right there. Huh, you know, crazy. But he didn't didn't tell anybody he just he kept saying oh we'll do it next week we'll do it you know this and yeah well but we had good we had you know what if you do replays we were right behind the opponent's bench so okay. I saw you know Dan Insel I saw you know all these guys and when it came time for the new seats you know when they moved into the new stadium those seats that the guy still held, he was up in a corner. <laughs> so I yeah. I did go to the old stadium once to see MJ play, and then I did go to the new stadium once to see. But I had way up there, yeah. you know, standing room only. I mean, these guys were this big. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I got to see him play, but... One of my Daryl Dawkins, I used to like him, and... Uh, I saw Dr. J. I saw Jordan in his rookie year. Oh, nice. We had the ticket. We started the tickets when Reggie Theus was playing. Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It was the whole team. The cheerleaders used to take my kids and walk them around the inside. Oh, really? Oh, we had. Well, you know, no, but yeah. 2,000, yeah. 3,000 yeah, people. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. All right. I do need your autograph here on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I would like to get like season tickets for Chicago Bears, you know, I would love to get those. Yeah, those I'm a tough. big fan, you know. Those are right. tough. I, Here's 50. I knew some people that had them before and every so often yeah. they invite somebody. I used to have a very good friend too that worked for this company that they had uh, tickets and, and a couple times a year they would give him four, right? And yeah. you know, we would go and these were great because they're dead center, I think 300 which is like you, you're sitting right in the middle, everything is perfect. I mean, it, it was just ideal seats, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and he got fired like right before pandemic. Yeah. No more games. <laughs> we, used to, we used to go to the game and we'd shoot back. There used to be this bar in Jackson in Ashland. Real nice place. Ashland? Yeah, and Jackson. It's just, okay. it's just out of state. So we used to go there, sit down to watch the highlights. And you could see us when the opponents shot. You could see us in the, really? in the stand. Yeah, oh, it was that's pretty, pretty cool, cool for a while. Yeah. Nice talking to you. I nice. really enjoyed this. Awesome. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. So I want to share something very cool with you guys that I totally forgot about it. I bought this a while ago. And I put it in a save because I'm going to frame these. Or I'm even debating if I should send them in to get them graded. What these are, and I'm going to take it out, one of them. And I'll be gentle with them. The one of them has some creases in it, the one that I'm taking it out. So these are ticket stops from the first game that Kobe Bryant ever played against Chicago Bulls. And there's actually Dennis Rodman on, on the cover of this ticket. And I got two stops 
So not only that it's cool that this was the first game Chicago Bulls against uh, LA Lakers, but it was the first game Kobe played against my Michael Jordan. So very iconic. If if they're graded and if they're in excellent condition, they can demand some big money. And like, I, I mean serious money. Now, this one is not in the greatest condition. Uh, this one is in much better condition. So I might send the one that it's in really nice, good condition and sell this one. Maybe like with something with Kobe on it, um, attach these and put it in a frame. I did pay up for them. I paid 300 bucks. I think the way they sit, I could double my money. But if I grade this one, I maybe can get even a thousand bucks for that ticket. So I think they're very, very cool. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Nice to cool. meet you. What do you got there? Uh, this is old Apple computer. Okay, Apple 2C is it? Yeah, 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 yeah 2C. Here's a cereal under, and then there's another one. Okay. For that one. And then Paymaster, 1960s okay. I believe. And then typewriter. Underwood, projector. And you got a couple Funko Pops there or something? Yeah, I got one. And then uh, this is like the models you put together. Yeah, let me see. Okay. Oh, sealed. Okay, cool. Let's see if you're interested in that. Yeah, we'll yeah. check it out. Okay. You want me to set so, up? So, yeah, or? you can you can put the computers here. Yeah, um, stuff, uh, around. So I'm going to be honest with you. Like this, the dollar cent and the projector. I think I got five or six of these in the back. Okay. They are kind of boat anchors, hard, hard to sell. No, so I, I probably tiger. will say no on those, but I would be interested in that Underwood uh, tarp rider. Okay. So, you know, the, when it comes to antique and vintage now. stuff right now, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a little picky no, I because a lot of stuff is just sitting. So. Um, no, I understand. It's a heavy one too, so. Yeah, that. Yes, yes. Yeah, the some stuff I have, you know. That's the problem, the way it don't. So like these, we don't really do. I mean, I think it's a charge here, but it's still fully functional. Yeah, yeah. This, probably no. Yeah, the, the, the starters, we have a problem selling them. People yeah. are always very skeptical how much battery okay. really holds charge on these. So I think that I'm gonna say no. Yeah, no problem. Figure I'll try, you know. It was going. Yeah, kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. But still very uh you know most people buy these mainly for decorations, yeah, nothing that's what else, I use you know. Before. So it I've is had a cool it for a piece. While. This one has original feet on it too, that's pretty cool. Very nice. Alright, let's set that aside. And is it still functional, do you know? The the 2C, the Apple? I, I I never plugged it in. You never plugged it in? Okay, I'm kinda not. curious, we'll check it out. Set it down. Okay, there's the information on the okay. bottom. You have a power supply for it or no? That's how you got it. Yeah. No, no, what's, what's here is all I have. Actually, none of the cards are on the back still in it. Okay, no, no, I do not have a power supply. Yeah. Let's see if the monitor at least turns on. I bought this for the same thing, it was just more of a display. Decoration. Thing. So I yeah. never, I just but, cleaned it and. You know, here's the thing I mean, people like them just for decoration, but there's like real hardcore collectors when it comes to Apple stuff, right? And, and if it's actually functional. I just when you're okay, up, stuff yeah. out of here when you're done. So oh, well, that's why I asked good, if, good. if you knew if this was still running or not, you know? Ah, I hear that sound. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. I've been watching you for a few years. Oh, yeah? Like yeah. early 2020. Are you guys uh, local here? or? No, I'm about two hours out. Two hours? Yeah. Where at? I'm in Low Indiana. Okay. Uh, that's at least two hours. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, it's making noise, but it's not. I don't 
even get snow or anything. The light is on, you know. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, but it's usually not that long. I know it came from I was in college, so I've been in a closet. I'm not sure. Because, yeah, I'm not seeing anything happening. Sometimes you get it like a little tiny glow on it, you know, but. Oh well, it is what it is. So, this stuff is yours, and this that's. Is, that's him. Okay. Yes, correct. Can I see that uh, Funko Pop there? Yes. Who oh, is it, Joker? Big boy. You never know what these bring, you know? Sometimes they're just peanuts, and sometimes they'll go for good money. Oh, 27.95, 30.49 here, 30, but most of them right around 30 bucks. So. Okay. The truck that it's on here it screams like it's yep. 70s, but I think this is a no, recent repop from probably early 2000s. I've, yeah, I, I didn't get that too long ago. Because back in the day, this company actually, AMT, they made a lot of models. And if you get original ones, they can go from pretty penny, you know? So okay. No, this one should be newer. Yeah. Surprise, there's no date here. Usually they do put a date on it, you know? 40 bucks, 43, 19 Let's see what's sold. Yeah, not too hard. Look at that. 10 bucks, 25, 13, 27. It's a little bit all over the place. I'm not sure exactly. But all 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 not here, not here's the highest sure. one, 40 bucks. Sure, most of them right around 20. Time. There's another $40 here, so pattern. kind of between um, 20 and 40 bucks, you know. What do you think you want to get out of this stuff? I the the machine, the computer, Funko Pop, this Coke. What are you thinking? Um, Any idea? I just follow your lead on it. Follow my lead. Yeah, well, 10 bucks. Think, um, follow my lead. <laughs> <laughs> um, Definitely let's see. store credit though. I'm actually okay. interested in something. Ooh, I what see. was that? Oh, okay. I there you go. <laughs> I should, I should put that on my uh, truck when I'm plowing the parking <laughs> lot here. Look important. Um, yeah, it's definitely a store credit. I'm looking to get some. So I'm gonna, to I'm video. gonna do a quick search on this Apple to see because yeah. they, you know, they tend uh, could be all over the place, you know. So, so full it's working really order, you know, there's one for company. 350, yeah, um, 200, we got them off um, 185. This far. 340 with a bunch of floppy disks and so they can go for some some good money 199 bucks yeah. see that's the power supply i'm talking about this little brick that comes on the side with it you know okay um 150 bucks okay i think that's a fair price you know for this being kind of as is, you know? Yeah, so. No, no, I understand. Yeah, works? Yes. All right, awesome. Thank you. Buck 50. Before we end today's video, guys, as promised, a giveaway, Michael Jordan photo. My King, Michael Jordan making a dunk over here from uh, 1987. And I got all the stuff plugged in in my random YouTube comment picker here. So let's see who's the winner and I'm gonna hit continue. It's going through all the comments. There's a lot of comments on this video. Lots of you guys want this picture. Seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, a thousand, eleven. My gosh, a lot of comments. Let's pick a winner and the winner is... I want Michael Jordan, Aaron Caruso. Aaron, you are the lucky winner of the greatness, Michael Jordan. Please, down below in, uh, in description, you'll find my email. Send me an uh, email directly to me and we're going to exchange some information so I can get your address and send this awesome photo to you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.